Sights and sounds are some of the easiest ways for your children to experience the world around them. But when a child's sight is impaired, that world can soon become distorted and out of focus, making glasses a necessity. I think they're perfect for you. From tiny infants to school-aged children, little ones are enjoying perfect vision thanks to their glasses. Glasses are nothing new for the Lamar family. Mom has been wearing glasses for as long as she can remember. I started wearing glasses when I was in the first grade. So when I noticed different things with my son, uh, as far as sitting up close to the TV and uh, holding books to his face, I realized that I needed to have him checked. When her son Dion was just two years old, Clarissa knew something was wrong. Dion, how you doing? Hey. Okay. Clarissa's first move was to schedule an eye exam with pediatric ophthalmologist Dr. Steve Lichtenstein. Her questions were pretty typical. How bad was his eyesight? Um, how long would he have to wear glasses? If the eyesight could be corrected, if there was any surgery that could be done to correct the eyesight. A P E O T F. Fantastic. Dr. Lichtenstein diagnosed Dion as nearsighted and told them Dion would have to wear glasses to perfect Next his year. vision. Not over there, I want you to dribble in. At first, Clarissa found herself having to constantly remind her son to wear his glasses. Now she says Dion is taking responsibility for his own eyesight. I think it was more getting used to wearing the glasses and really realizing that when you look at something with the glasses, you see it a whole lot better than you do without. Clarissa also found Dion wore his glasses more often when he was able to take part in picking out a frame he liked. Right. You like the purple? If you give him a price range, tell him, okay, you go from here to here, uh, that helps out a lot too because they pick out something that they like and they will be more willing to put it on. Dr. Lichtenstein agrees. He says if your child is old enough. The child has to be given some ability to express their opinion on if they like them or if they don't like them. In the past, children had few options when it came to picking out a pair of glasses, but that's all changed. Now glasses come in all shapes and sizes, offering your child style and comfort as well as function. What's this one look like? Circle, all right. So when should your child make her first visit to the ophthalmologist? Between three and five years of age is the best time to have a child seen to make sure by the time they start preschool, kindergarten, nursery school, they have normal eyes and, and they're seeing okay. But no matter how old your child is, Dr. Lichtenstein says you should contact your pediatrician immediately if you detect trouble, including fluttering eyes, eyes that are always sensitive to light, or eyes that look crossed, turned out, or don't focus together. I cheer, I run, and sometimes I ride the scooters. Dion's cousin, Tiger McEwing, an extremely active and outgoing 11-year-old, also wears glasses, but her eyesight is much worse than Dion's. Tiger's eyesight has been getting progressively worse due to a thinning of her retina. She's already considered legally blind. I am the only me here. Because of Tiger's diagnosis, her mother Joyce works with her daughter's school to ensure Tiger won't fall behind. They just take the books and everything that she studies with and they make it into a larger size so that she can, can see it and, and and won't be much of a strain on her. D. Yeah. G. Good girl. Keeping her daughter healthy also means yearly visits to the ophthalmologist, as well as fitting Tiger with the most accurate prescriptions and correct size glasses. A warning to parents, don't overlook the importance of the size of the glasses. So we're looking for the size, we're looking for the location on your and nose. And the right size. Those are the right size. If you just throw a pair of glasses on a child and they don't fit well, they can be more detrimental than helpful to that child. 
Let's make sure these are fitting right. And although glasses do act as a form of eye protection, if your child takes part in contact sports, remember that protective eye gear is a must. I personally like sports goggles. It gives more protection. It prevents things from coming in behind the glasses because they fit much closer to the face. Glasses have not stopped Dion or Tiger from doing the things they love the most. And now, wearing glasses seems to come naturally. I tell her all the time, you know, there is nothing wrong with wearing glasses. There's something wrong with you not wearing them. And she's okay with it. <laughs>